a brand new day. Stretch out, touch your toes, blink your eyes and blow your nose and say thank you. It's a brand new day. Hello and welcome to another activity morning. It's hard to believe we've been doing these for a year now. Well done to all of you who kept going through the year. And also it's lovely to have some new families joining us. Well, today we're gonna to be thinking about another amazing miracle Jesus did. Steph's gonna tell us a story, but first we've got a song from Andrew and it's a song that we were learning at Crossroads. Hello, I've come to sing you a song again today, Andrew here. And we're going to sing a song that we sing at Crossroads and it's called It's an Adventure Following Jesus. If you don't know it, we can learn it. We'll sing it through a few times and then um, perhaps by the end you'll, you'll get to know it. It's an adventure following Jesus. It's an adventure learning of him. It's an adventure living for Jesus. It's an adventure following him. Let's go where he leads us. Turn away from wrong. For we know we can trust him to help us as we go along. It's an adventure following Jesus. It's an adventure learning of him. It's an adventure living for Jesus. It's an adventure following him. Let's go where he leads us. Turn away from wrong. For we know we can trust him to help us as we go along. It's an adventure following Jesus. It's an adventure learning of him. It's an adventure living for Jesus. It's an adventure following him. There, hope you enjoyed that and see you again next time. The setting for today's story is in a quiet, isolated place on the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, near to Bethsaida. This is an amazing story it is a true story and it happened many, many years ago. Through this story, we will learn that Jesus can do amazing things. He can do miracles, something that we can't do, but God can. His power in today's story will show us that he is God's son. We will also learn that Jesus cares for us. He knows what we need and that we can trust him to help us. What type of bread do you like? Now I've got some breads here to show you. Do you like French stick? Do you like round rolls? Do you like normal sliced white bread? Perhaps you like pita bread and you might even like flatbreads. In today's story, there's a boy that has five loaves in his packed lunch. Now, these loaves will be made of barley. Barley grain was the cheapest, and therefore that is the grain the poorer people used to buy to make their bread. We also think that the loaves this little boy had would not have been like our round, chunky rolls. They're more likely to have been like our pita breads or our flat breads. This story can be found in all four Gospels, in Matthew chapter 14, in Mark chapter 6, in Luke chapter 9 and in John chapter 6. This story can be found four times in the Bible and this shows us that it is important. Are you ready to listen? Jesus and the disciples had been very busy and they were tired. Jesus wanted to go somewhere away from the crowds. So he and his disciples got into a boat and sailed across the Sea of Galilee to a quiet desert region near to Bethsaida. 
However, as people soon realised where he was going, and many, many people went to meet him there. They wanted to see Jesus. They wanted to hear him teach. They wanted to see him do miracles to heal people. Jesus saw how greatly this crowd needed him and he had compassion on them and he cared for them. He taught them and he healed the people there that were ill. As it got near to evening, Jesus knew that the crowd was hungry and he said to Philip, where should we buy bread so that everyone may eat? Jesus knew what he was going to do. He was asking the question to make Philip think. Philip thought and answered, that it would cost too much to buy food to feed all of these people. Andrew, another disciple, said to Jesus, There is a boy here who has five loaves and two fish, but what use are they among so many? These disciples could not work out how to feed the crowd. There were not any places to buy food nearby, and even if there had been, they did not have enough money to buy enough food for all of those people. The only food available was a boy's packed lunch, five loaves and two small fish. The disciples could not see how that was going to help. If all these people were going to be fed, something very, very special would have to happen. The Bible tells us that Jesus got everybody to sit down on the grass. The Bible tells us that there were about 5,000 men, as well as the women and the children. That is more than all of the people that live in Bury, or more than all the people that live in Upwood, or more than all the people that live in Ramsey and St Mary's, and it's over half the people that live in Ramsey. It was a lot of people. It is no wonder that the disciples did not know what to do. They did not have the money or the power to do anything about the crowd being hungry. Jesus knew though, he knew exactly what to do, and he had the power to do something about it. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish and he gave thanks to God. He handed the bread and the fish to his disciples to hand to the crowd. And amazingly, there was enough bread and fish to feed everyone. And in fact, the Bible tells us that the disciples collected not one, not two, but 12 baskets of leftovers. This was a miracle. A miracle is something we can't do, but God can. It is impossible for us. Jesus showed his great power by creating more and more food from the five loaves and two fish. And this display of power shows us that Jesus is God's son. So what can we learn from this story? We have learned that Jesus can do miracles. He had the power to make a little go a long way. And we've seen that this shows us that he is God's son. We have also seen that Jesus cared for the people and he used his power to meet their needs. Did you know that Jesus cares for each one of us? As this story shows, he has the power to help us whether our problems are big or small. And he is always able to provide us with everything that we need. This is an amazing story, isn't it? And it really happened a long, long time ago. Jesus, he's fully God and fully man That's really hard to understand So let me try to explain Shoot, shoot, ba do ba do ba shoot, shoot Shoot, ba do ba do ba shoot, shoot Shoot, ba do ba do ba shoot, shoot Shoot, ba do ba do ba Jesus his word upholds the galaxies But he babbled like a baby In his mother's arms Jesus Understands the universe But he had to go to school to learn 
how to write his name. Jesus walked upon the ocean blue, but his feet got tired and dirty too on the dusty roads. Jesus cried when his friend Lazarus died, but his power brought him back to life when he called his name. He's totally God, totally God. and totally man. Both in one, Both in one. He's, the great I am. he's the great I am to save the world, save the world. fulfill God's plan. God's plan. He had to be totally, totally God, God, totally, totally man. man. Jesus obeyed his Father perfectly, and we know that something you and me. Could never do Jesus Died to pay for all our sins Rose to save the ones who trust in him For eternity He's totally God, totally God. And totally man, totally man Both in one He's the great I am, great I am to save the world, save the world, fulfill God's plan. God's plan. He had to be totally, totally God, God, totally man. Totally man, totally man, both in one, both in one, he's the great I am, the great I am, to save the world, save the world, fulfill God's plan, fulfill God's plan, he had to be totally God, totally man, totally God, totally man. Today we have two things for you to do. One's a decoration, the other's a bit different. We're going to be making a board game and in a minute I'll show you how to do that. But first Nikki is going to show us the craft. So, today we're going to be making fish sun catchers and what you will need from being at home is a print stick, a tiny piece of sellotape so you can put your hook on at the end and also colouring pencils to be able to do the mouth and the fin um, and the tail. So you'll first need the shiny side of the CD and you put it down on the table. You then have the get the print stick and you'll be able to add your tail but what you probably need to do is turn it over onto the other side, do the um, gluing and stick the tail down and then You'll be able to get the other fin and do it so it goes on to the top like this. You'll then have the fin that goes in the middle to, to, to cover this one in glue and put it in the middle to cover up just to below the circle that's in your disc like this. You then got your googly eye so you put your googly eye on with the print stick again onto the fish and then you've got the mouth which looks a little bit like a love heart here you want to make sure that the bit of the it's the pointy bit that goes in at the in towards the middle just like this now you've got all these nice sequins in your pack you'll be able to get the sequins and arrange them wherever you wish all over the fish and also the stars and also circles flowers or whatever you've got in your your pack you'll be able to put them on and then you'll be able to also add lines 
on like this stick them on your glue will dry so even if you get some on there it won't matter too much so you'll be able to stick them on oh sticking onto everything stick it on here and then you get your bit of cello tape and you put it on the back just above your big fin just here and it's up to you then you've got extra paper as well that you can obviously add extra bits on and as you can see here on my other the friend's fish um the fish's friend here has got lines so you design it how you want your fish thanks nikki now i want to show you how to make a board game it's a board game based on our story today the aim of the game is to move around the board until you collect enough bread and fish how many do you think you will need to win yes of course it's five loaves of bread and two fish. You'll need to find a dice to play the game and I've designed it so you can play with up to four players. You take turns to throw the dice and move around the board collecting the fish and bread. Along the way are other instructions. These are based on the story. So one of your tasks when you make the game is to get the story in the right order. So I hope you are listening carefully. In your pack you will have two pieces of card. One is the board. The other has all the things you need to colour and cut out. On this you have your title, your fish, your bread, your story pieces and your playing pieces which are four hungry men. You need to colour these in and cut them out. Make sure you colour all your four men in different colours so you know which piece belongs to which player. Next you need to do the sticking. First you need to stick your title in the middle of your board. The next job is harder. You have nine squares telling the story and you need to get them in the right order around the board. You can stick them any way you like as long as they're in the right order. So to help you, I'm going to run through them so you can listen again to this if you're struggling. The first square to stick down says that people listen to Jesus all day, go forward one space. I've put this just before my first square that says collect one loaf of bread. So if you land on it, you'll move forward to get a loaf of bread. The second square says the people are hungry, miss a turn. The third one says, Jesus tells the disciples to find food, go back two spaces. The fourth one says, a boy offers his food, go forward two spaces. The fifth one says, Jesus gives thanks to God for the food, go forward one space. The sixth one says, the disciples take the food to 5,000 people, go back one space. The seventh one says, everyone eats well, go forward three spaces. The eighth one says, the disciples have to pick up the leftovers, go back three spaces. And the ninth one says, everyone is amazed by Jesus' power. Go forward three spaces. Once you've stuck them down, find a place on your board for the fish and bread. Put your hungry men on the start. Grab a dice and someone to play with and have a go. If you want a reminder, I will post the picture of my finished game on our Facebook page. Well, I hope you enjoyed the activities we prepared for you today. Remember to send me your pictures and maybe tell me who won your game. It's a brand new day.